I bowen to you all do we put it this is great ten science and we are going to start another new section and a new chapter it's going to be a physics section motion in a straight line and as per the sri lankan government school syllabus we will learn about this motion in a straight line chapter number 2 definitely for the first time we are going to talk about this motion in a straight line and it's a very interesting chapter without any doubt we will talk about distance and displacement in this beautiful session and we will understand the distance and displacement at the end of this section you will clearly understand what is the major difference between distance and displacement and how you define the distance and displacement let's get into the subject now distance is a concept familiar to you don't you know that you're traveling every day from one place to another place and when you are telling that i traveled 5 kilometers i traveled 25 kilometers i traveled 250 kilometers you will speak like that when you're going from kandy to colombo the mile post or the indication will say that it's around about 113 kilometers it's a distance definitely now when you go from home to school you have to travel certain distance suppose the a is being the home and the b being the school you have a distance in between that a and b you came to know that now sometimes there can be several paths you could use to travel between home and school as per this example you see this one the blue line yellow line and the red line has different distances it's very very clear in front of you some of them could be shorter and some longer as per this example now this particular route is 16 kilometers and the orange line is around about 14 kilometers while the red line is the hardest and the farthest it is 22 kilometers these are known as distance these are known as what distances 14 kilometers 16 kilometers and 22 kilometers now another thing is there that is a straight line yes that is called displacement the definition of the displacement it says a change of positions like this that occurs from one point to another point in a particular direction is called displacement now when they are talking about that displacement they told something called direction you see this one particular direction of course there is a direction when you are going from home to school and when there is when you're traveling from school to home the direction is this now the magnitude of the displacement is the shortest distance between the two points now what is that magnitude is all about fine i'm going to explain it to you very clearly now when you are traveling and there is a road like this and this is 10 kilometers and this one when we are traveling suppose this is 16 kilometers this 10 km is the magnitude of displacement and this 16 km is the magnitude of what the distance but displacement got a definite direction but the distance hasn't got a definite direction because sometimes you go in this direction sometimes you go in this direction you see this one this and here it is this direction once again you in this direction once again you go in this direction several directions are there so there is no direction for the distance now we are coming to a better point 16 km which is known as distance and this particular is known as displacement suppose it is 10 km fine i put as 10 okay now we are coming to a better understanding of what is the difference between distance and displacement Are you ready to understand it? Okay, I hope you are ready to listen to this. 
here it is displacement got a direction that's what it is indicating displacement got a direction therefore it is known as one and distance got an got no direction therefore it is known as something else what is that name yes displacement got a direction therefore they are calling that as a vector quantity what is that vector quantity now distance known as scalar quantity so distance known as scalar quantity what is a scalar quantity let's understand a physical quantity which can be described only by its magnitude is scalar quantity now this distance we can say that as only 16 kilometers but when we are talking about displacement that's a vector quantity once again a physical quantity which can be described by its magnitude and direction in particular direction you can say that southeast northwest northeast yes it's something like that a physical quantity which can be described by its magnitude and direction is vector vector has magnitude and direction scalar has only magnitude remember that now what is the total distance traversed by the child in this example he's starting here and he's going from a to b that is 40 mm -hmm. 40 meters and then after that from b to c he is traveling 30 meters so what is the total distance you can definitely understand that is 70 meter but what is the displacement it is without any doubt 50 meter but displacement got a direction also so when you are talking about direction as you know that this is north and this is east and this particular direction is west and south it is like news okay and this is the direction that boy is traveling that is northeast so the right way to answer that question is 50 meter to northeast direction that boy is traveling voila so we understood the clear definition and difference between the displacement and the distance displacement always got always got i'm sorry direction and the magnitude and distance only got a magnitude it hasn't got or it has no direction voila we understood the clear differences between displacement and the distance let's meet in another beautiful session to learn more about this motion in a straight line grade 10 science bye bye take care of yourself